And I've mentioned that beforehand, that multicultural day around Belmore, mate, fantastic. You know, it reminds me back at school when we used to have the multicultural day. Everybody brings their food, brings their, you know what I mean, their, their culture background, their performances, their dance. Um, it's just fantastic to see. You learn about one another. Um, we had multicultural day here in the 90s and they locked the gates. You couldn't get in. I had to actually jump the fence, you know, to try to be part of the crowd. Everybody with their different flags. And yeah, you walk through Billwood Road right here and you've got the different cultures, different backgrounds, different food, different, you know, so many different things. And different is good, you know, different, it's just good. If, if, if we're all the same, it's stale, it's boring. So, you know, everybody brings a different taste um, and a different dish to the table. Again, you know, I remember when I was here and playing, having a Lebanese, um, you know, community behind me, it just drove me to another level. And I'm sure, as I said, with Jackson, it'll be the same thing as well. Um, I grew up watching the game and, and, he's, and he's somebody I looked up to as a young fellow and um, see, especially as in, a, in a cultural aspect as well, uh, seeing the Belmore community get behind you and, um, and uh, really support you as a player and as a person. It was, it was unreal to watch growing up. So it's pretty cool, like, just the Bulldogs, I think there's like over, 10, 20 different cultures just in our team. So nowadays, like, it's good to have that diversity and, and um, different as good as, as Hazel said. So I, I, I really enjoy it and we're going to get better footy and we're going to get better quality out of different cultures. So it's going to be awesome.